Hey there YouTube. Uh, today I'm going to show you really quick how to install your Radeon RX 570 on Windows 8.1. Now the official website only has drivers for Windows 7 and Windows 10 uh, so I wanted to show you that this video card does work well on Windows 8.1 you just have to use the Windows 7 drivers. So if you just go to the AMD website and then go ahead and find the driver section and it looks like it's actually amd.com forward slash en forward slash support then go down here and select your graphics card so it's a Radeon 500 series RX 500 series RX 570 There we go, and that gets us to this page, which I'll go ahead and link in the description. Download the Windows 7 driver. I always like to download the WHQL driver, which is the one that Microsoft has tested and puts out with Windows updates, usually. Um, so if you're on Windows 7, this one is the one that would automatically download. If you're on Windows 10, this one is the one that would automatically download. But we're going to go ahead and get the Windows 7 64-bit driver. And we're going to download that. And once that's downloaded, you're just going to go ahead and run it. So this will extract it to this path on your C drive, which is handy if you ever need to install it again. We're going to go ahead and click Install so that it extracts it. Okay, so you're going to get this, oops, something went wrong. Now there's two ways you can go about this. You can run the installer in compatibility mode to bypass this. Go to the C drive. Let me find the path that was extracted. We can go in here and on the setup file, we right click, properties, compatibility, and we run it in compatibility mode for Windows 7. Then go through the installer, and that will install all the bloatware and all the crap that actually takes about 150 megabytes of RAM, like active private working set memory. Um, so, like, it doesn't get paged out, it actually takes your RAM for no reason. Uh, so, what I do is I go into packages, drivers, display. and then uh, whatever subfolder it is at the time. And then I find the INF file here, and I just right click on it, and I click on install, and what that'll do is it won't really give you any progress bar until it's done, but once it's done it'll say operation complete and you should be in full resolution. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out. So you can see I have four monitors right now and only two work when I don't have the proper driver installed. But I'm going to go ahead and click on install. And get that prompt and you just click on yes. And Windows will do its thing and add the driver to the driver store within Windows. And eventually it will kick off the install process itself and load the driver. It just takes a second. Hey, look at that. I have all four of my monitors. And you get a little old school box that says the operation completed successfully. And at that point, you are good to go if you only need the video drivers. If you need the HDMI audio drivers, you can go into the drivers folder and go to audio and install the HDMI audio drivers. I don't need those, so I'm not going to install them since I don't like things 
messing with my audio output. Um, but now I'll go ahead and restart just to show you that it sticks. And the fan runs only after boot up that fast, but your normal thermal controls will work so your card won't overheat. And there you have it. We are running the RX 570 on Windows 8.1. Thanks for watching.